Well, good morning, everybody. It is 5.32 a.m. on a Sunday. It is 10, 20, 24 October, and I'm getting closer and closer to Quartzsite. 10, 24, and I'm going to be in Quartzsite at 11, 14. So that's 14 plus 11 days, um, 25 days, and I'm going to be in Quartzsite. Are we excited? I am. So let's talk about the um, comments today. <clears throat> um, we have a positive news video on first-time voter, an 82-year-old woman um, never voted because her late husband would not let her vote. And she was also never learned to read or write. Well, um, her, uh, you know, sadly for her, her husband passed away and her niece stepped up and said, you know what, you can vote. And he, she helped her register and went in with her and helped her vote. And she got to, she got to cast her first vote at 82. And she was so proud of herself. And she said, I now I feel like an American. That's such a great thing. So M. Campbell commented on the, we'll call that the voter video. Literacy is something we take for granted. Yet it's the key to freedom. If you're literate, the knowledge of the entire world is open to you and you are no longer limited to what other people tell you. Powerful stuff, M. Campbell. Very powerful statement. Bravo. Lisa Roth on my video, How I Used My September Income. I talked about a new camera that I bought and how I rationalized it. <laughs> And also, I disclosed how much money I made in, in the last month. It was $434 from you kind folks watching the these ads that pop up on my videos. Thank you so much for that. Um, Lisa Ross says, I think I love gadgets as much as you do. Um, I'm so excited about this. I look forward to your testing. Although grocery stores aren't my thing. So I tested it in a grocery store and I'm, I, I just released it. It's, it's, it's out there and it's been, by the time you see this, it'll be out for about an hour or two. Um, and the reason I tested it in the grocery store is my old GoPro. Um, I had a lot of problems with it, with lens flare, especially inside buildings with fluorescent lights and, and uh, subscribers were saying, Hey, you need to clean your lens. You have a dirty lens. And to their credit, it looked like a dirty lens, but it was this terrible lens flare. Um, at first, I thought it was a dirty lens. I cleaned it, and then I had the lens replaced because I thought it was a defective lens, and that didn't make any difference. It's just a, a thing with maybe the particular model, the GoPro 10 I had. But anyway, I was hoping that, one, that the lens flare problem would go away, and two, it... Um, it uh, it's a DJI product, and I have a DJI microphone, these things. I can get it off there, that every once in a while you'll see that clip to me. And it's Bluetooth wireless, and it connects directly to the camera. It would not connect directly to the GoPro. I had to use like an adapter. So I'm looking for better sound, more convenient sound, and much better picture. And guess what? It worked. Check If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, it was amazing. And it was less than the retail price is $50 less than, um, the GoPro. So I used most of that $50 to buy, um, the two year, re um, instant replacement warranty for anything. Just not, it, it, it's not just for the regular warranty covers like defects and stuff that breaks, but you know, if I drop it or crush it or something, they'll replace it for free under that warranty. And um, it's, I've already used that warranty with the camera that I'm using now, the DJI, DJI Osmo Pocket 3. They, um, it, it wasn't working properly and I just um, filled out a thing, uh, a form and um, for Express, for $35, she just sent me a new camera right away. What I, I don't know why I did that because I, I, it was fine to wait. I could have just waited for, um, they would have sent me a label. I would have sent this camera back. Then they would have, would have sent um, the new one. But for 35 bucks, I'll just send the new one right away. So that's what I did. It worked great. Great customer service. Um, anyway, uh, 
so I responded to Lisa and said, grocery stores are my biggest light and sound channel. Sound too, because there's so much ambient noise in the grocery store. Um, Lisa R, different Lisa on the comment video. I wish I could do Quartzsite this year. It was in my plan. Uh, yet I had to find a job unexpectedly. So we will see, though I really enjoyed your vid video. Thank you for that. Well, Lisa, I, I hope you make it. I really do. Um, you you know, it's probably, I don't know, it's, it's probably not too late. You could, I don't know what you do for a living. I mean, you could be a neurosurgeon for what I, all I know. But I know there are seasonal jobs in Quartzsite, if you're interested in that. Um, Leona Rosales on the how I used the how I used my income. I really like the driving videos. It allows us to see your surroundings. It's like if we're riding, sitting beside you. How often would we look directly at you? Often, but not all the time. You're doing a great job with the driving videos. Thank you. Many channels have the camera mostly on themselves. After a while, you don't even need to watch. Just listen, as you already know what they look like. That's a good point. So, um, Leona, you're going to love my video tomorrow because I did another experiment with my brand new camera that I've been talking about. And the, I have an attachment that's a giant suction cup. I think it's, it's right here. So see this giant suction cup? I stuck this on the hood of my car and I put the brand new camera on this thing. So I have, um footage of a drive up into the mountains here outside Pahrump up to um, Wheeler Pass, which is right at the base of right next to um, the big mountain here, Mount Charleston. And believe me, when you're not shooting through a windshield with glare and dirt and stuff, it's pretty spectacular. So tomorrow I'll be releasing that video and you'll get to see that. Um, and I think you'll really love that. There's a little bit of facing me, but 95% is you sitting beside me looking out at that scenery um, and listening to me prattle on about all kinds of topics. So you can even turn down the volume and put on some music and just watch it and not even have to listen to me. You'll enjoy it. Um, Robert Ballard on the comment video. Thanks, Rob. Your explanation and comments are really great. I've been, um, been looking for years to explain heartburn issues to my young granddaughter. I'm going to share your video with her. Your comment on the fear of being nervous is also very helpful. I guess it's a little like fearing the feeling of fear itself. Try not to complain too much when Dottie takes you for a walk today. I complain because Daddy constantly stopped. She goes on a sniff, not a walk. And I want to go for a walk. I don't want to sniff. <laughs> she stops constantly. And for those of you who don't know, I love Dottie like my next breath. There's Dottie right there. But um, I'm sorry, right there on the bed. I love her like my next breath. But um, she does not obey verbal commands <laughs> at all. Every once in a while... I'll give a command like come here or sit, never sit, she's never sat, but maybe come here or stop. And every once in a while, by coincidence, I think the action matches the command, but I really just think it's an accident. Uh, Joan Evans, um, on the first time voter, God bless the people that volunteer to teach adult literacy classes to people who never properly learn to read and write for whatever reason. I think of my elementary school teachers often and the big job they had in teaching us to read and write and how it feels like a miracle. Thanks to all the teachers. You know, I, Joan, I really like this because what, what this comment does and in, in, in really the previous comment on this, um, from, let's see, who was that? Um, from M Campbell is it creates a sense of gratitude, deep gratitude for something we almost all of us take for granted, that we know how to read and write and we don't have to depend on what other people tell us. We can research, we can read things, we can understand things for ourselves because we can read and we can communicate with other people in writing. And she's right. This 
really bizarre concept of these characters that are put together in words, and these words have meaning and become our thoughts. When we're born, that's foreign to us, and these hero teachers that transform those little characters that are formed into words and sentences and paragraphs and they explain to us as little children how that's done and they're successful the vast majority of the time it is kind of a miracle if you think about it that way um because it, it's so common that we we take it for granted so thank you M. Campbell and Joan for reminding us to be grateful and think about the wonders of the world that we take for granted. Um, how I use September income, Ken Gray says, according to my research, this is a fantastic alternative to the GoPro. Cannot wait to see it in action. Ken, I can't wait to see what you think of the footage. And Ken on the first voter, this is a heartwarming story. Voting is a person's way to exercise freedom. And you should be able to do it even if you have some sort of disadvantage. Absolutely. Um, Ken uh, on the comments, organic foods. Oh, I, I asked in the comments video, um, someone asked, where can if I stay in Quartzsite, where can I get organic food? And I, I, I was a little tongue-in-cheek. I said, you can get produce at the Roadrunner and Coyote markets, but I'm not so sure. I'm thinking organic, not so much. Uh, and I said, maybe Yuma, but I don't know. But And I said, does anybody really know? And of course, Ken knew. He says, organic foods in Yuma could be Sprouts Farmer's Market, Yuma Organic, or Green Trees Grocery Outlet. So there's three places in Yuma. So if you're willing to drive the hour and 15 minutes from Quartzsite into Yuma, there's three pretty big places to go for organic chow, organic stuff. Um, George, uh, George Renier, 8056 on the comments video. Thanks, Rob. I really appreciate your insight. I look forward to meeting you one day. Right back at you. Uh, 13 months until retirement, I'm heading west, going RV full-time and see everything I've never seen firsthand. Yep, pack up my dog and we will go. And it says read more. i got to click. Take care, George. Well, George, you share a name with George, my cat, who was the namesake of my Uncle George. <laughs> I, 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 I spent a lot of time around my, my Uncle George. He was my great uncle. He was my father's uncle. And he owned a um, lake house on Cayuga Lake in upstate New York that had been in the family for like 100 years. And on it was a ketchup factory that was still standing. My family was in the ketchup business. And uh, it was an, a place of wonder and adventure in my childhood. And the owner of it was my Uncle George. And he was living there. And we lived in Rochester only about an hour away. So we would... In the summer, almost every weekend, vacations, that's where dad would take us on vacation. Wonderful memories. So, great name, George. Um, let's see, who's next? Um, by the way, by the way, if you're still with me, um, I, I, I said on, a, um, a, on a, a video that's coming out tomorrow, I said this, but I'm, I'm going to start saying it on all the comments videos. Um, I want to do a video where I answer your questions about me. If you're curious about anything within reason about me, um, uh, uh, post it, the question on any one of these videos, and I'll gather those questions. So if you could preface it with um, just the word in all caps question, and then put it on there. I'll gather all those and I'll do a video where I answer them all. If that's something that you're interested in. Um, let's see. Elwood Elwood um, on the comment video. Another good video in time well spent. Thank you, Elwood. Well, you're welcome, Elwood. Um, you know, the more I do these comment videos, um, uh, the more I like them. I, I, it's a lot of fun. Um, how I use my September income and Cushman says Mo Dotty time, more Dotty time, yeah, more Dotty time. Um, 
in the video that I'm releasing tomorrow, the new camera before I put it on the hood and inside, it's all Dottie. I just pointed at her inside the car. The Dottie was with me, so there's a lot of dot. There's there's some Dottie close up for the new camera. Ken McLeod, um, avoiding getting your LTVA permit revoked in quartzite. This is kind of a few weeks old. Ken says, bags of dog poop or a pet peeve of mine at home on a bike trail. I regularly ride on it. In that case, there are woods on both sides of the trail. And rather than encase the poop in plastic and drop it on the trail, I wish people would get a stick and flick the poop into the woods. Um, this is something that um, you don't want to do. All right. You don't want to introduce a domestic pet's feces into the wild. It's it's not their, it, it, it's just, you pick up after your dog. Um, and, you know, I think what Ken's talking about is people accidentally drop the bag or they dispose of the bag in some place inappropriate. Um, put it in the bag. And you've seen a video of me where I accidentally dropped one and raced back to get it, but somebody had already gotten it. Anyway, um, put it in a bag, tie a knot in the bag, put it in the trash, and be done with it. Um, they also drop the plastic in case poop into portable toilets where it doesn't belong. Of course, you don't put plastic in portable toilets or any sewer. Um, where there might be not be any good place to flick the poop in the desert, I hope that if someone bags it and drops it, they go back and pick it up. I, I'm not sure I understand that because I don't think anyone would bag it and drop it deliberately and go back and pick it up. Um, you know, it, it, if you're nervous about putting a bag of plastic with poop in it in your pocket, double bag it. it, it it'll be fine. Or, you know, if you don't think it's sealed enough, bring poop bags and a sealable glad bag. Just Put it in your pocket, put it in your whatever, and take it home. Um, I know they, I have dogs, so I know they pick the least convenient places to make deposits. Yeah, they don't care where they are as long as it's outside. Incidentally, <laughs> never, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on a video, but one of the unintended consequences of, of having Dottie in this little, in a little trailer for so many years is when I take her into someone's big home, she does not understand the difference between a wide open home and outside. I brought Dottie into my sister's house and she trots into the kitchen and squats in peace. You can't really blame her. She doesn't understand. <laughs> so she just figured any place outside the trailer, I'm good to go. She hasn't done that in a long time. Although I haven't been in anybody's house with Dottie in a long time. So who knows? Um, continuing with Ken. I have a trailer with a 25-gallon black tank and a Class C with a 12-gallon tank. But I've been interested in dry toilets like Laveo, L-A-V-E-O, uh, that bag the deposits and um, don't use any water. They're appealing since it makes your water supply last longer. That's a, that's a, that's a yes for sure. Um... And there's still a gray tank with a dump valve. Now, if you really wanted to, you could use your regular RV toilet with a bag in it that you seal after going. And that would kind of be the same thing. Um, the one he's probably maybe does that automatically. But you could do that because um, when I use, and this is TMI for people that aren't RVers or aren't certainly not full timers, not TMI for boondockers. Um, well, for anyone using a black tank, one of the biggest mistakes that people make, um, in using their black tank for solid waste is not adding enough water when you do it. And it's real tempting to be stingy on the water when you're boondocking, but that's a big mistake because if you don't have enough water in the blank tank, the solids can build up and create all kinds of problems in your black tank. So I always fill my bowl like um, at least half full when when using it for solids. So I'm, I'm then on top of that, I, I flush and I have a 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. And so I make sure I have plenty of fluid to go with the solids. And I've not had in three years, I've not had any problems with my black tank. Um, 
let's see, RVs with cassettes would would still have a gray tank. It's interesting to think about and see if the regulations keep up with the changing equipment. Um, and he's talking about the LTVA um, um, regulations. And the LTV regulations are a little, you know, they, they don't know about nature. Um, these like nature head toilets are the toilets that are um, separate the, the urine and the, and the solids. Um, composting toilets it, it, it really doesn't um it should account for those things but it's old school the rule saying if um like in the ltva south um in quartzite if you don't have at least a 10 gallon of fixed black tank you must park within 500 feet of a vault toilet and they don't account for any of the the more modern ways of um waste disposal which is unfortunate um, Cushman says on the comments today, how about that temp and prompt today? And I said, at 76 at 2 PM. Very nice. I could use it a little cooler. My ideal daytime temperature is 72 for the high. That's my, I like it. I like it. A little cool. RV Grand McCharlotte. Grand <laughs> McCharlotte. How about I try that again? How about Gra RV Grandma Charlotte? When it's all running together. Okay, Grandma. Last winter, I stayed in an RV park for the winter. This is on Quartzite for Beginners video. Um, like my electric blanket. In March, went out to Skadden Wash. Since I only have my motorhome, no car, Skadden is, is close enough to ride my e-bike in for drinking water and groceries. Every couple weeks would go into an RV park to empty tanks, fill with fresh water, do laundry, good shower, fill propane, then go back to Skadden. Um, never had a ranger come by, but did park in different spots when I came in RV park. I used my Passport America, so $50 a month I paid for times a month was worth it. I don't know how many times a month. $50 a month paid for time. I, I'm not sure exactly what the Passport America did for her there. Um, I, I, I think she's missing a word or a number there. If you're on BLM land and their dumpster is full, and if you have a truck or car, take it to the transfer station. It's free and keeps it from piling up on the ground outside the dumpsters. They have kind of, that's true, and they have kind of little odd hours and days so um look that up and make sure you know the hours and days that they're open and during you'll wait in line for a little while <laughs> in december and or december and january especially january it gets busy but you're gonna you might wait in line at the dumpsters and the ltva too um it gets busy cd casita adventures that is charlie and diane and I had thanked him for, he was the one that said, hey, why don't you do a comment video every day? Just like Ru, Ru, his, another channel, Rusty. And I listened, I said, that's a great idea. And I thanked him again at the end of the last video. And he said, glad I could help. We watch every day. You're doing an excellent job. Thanks again. And I'm going to see Charlie and Diane, I hope, in Quartzsite this winter. But definitely I'll see them in Eagle Nest next summer. Hopefully, I'm hoping for both. Good, good people. Um, Tommy, uh, on comment video, it was a great idea. and hope you continue to do this. It makes you much more sociable to me. More interactive makes it more interesting. Gadgets rock. And I think he's just referring to the comment videos in general. I've done many of them now. I've done it over a month, I think, every day. So Susan Stevens and how I use my income. Great video. So nice you're making some money for all the videos. I'll be in Pahrump next Friday. Really looking forward to my new place. So Susan bought into Preferred RV Resort. Um, and she's arriving here Friday. And we'll see if we can meet Susan. But I haven't already. Have we met? Uh, shame on me if we've already met here, Susan. Um, Charles RV. Uh, Charles... V. Reland, um, Quartzsite for Beginners. Like you, I've been following the happenings of Quartzsite on YouTube for the last three years. I'm actually thinking of visiting in January for the big tent just to experience it. I do the SUV tent thing rather than RV, so hesitant since it's January, but prob probably still warmer than Washington. 
that's going to be true whether you mean Washington State or Washington, D.C. I've kind of lived in both. I didn't technically live in Washington State, but I lived in Sandpoint, Idaho, which if I drove 30 minutes west, I'd be in Washington State. So that counts. Um, your comments. Tammy Jensen says, try good old apple for acid reflux. It really does work. Now, I talked, I'm not going to do this again, but I talked in a couple of videos about my acid reflux and the things I discovered that are a bad idea about over-the-counter and remedies like baking soda and stuff. But this, I don't see how an apple could hurt, right? Um, the over, a lot of over-the-counter medications can, it turns out baking soda is going to deactivate my blood pressure medication. But an apple I'm going to, next time in the grocery store, I'm going to buy me an apple and I'm going to skip the, the medication for a day and eat a couple apples and see if that does the trick. No sense not trying that one. An apple a day, right? Uh, Lisa, 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 Lisa. Lisa is in, um, in, uh, in the desert outside Quartzsite now with, um, Judy. Judy and Lisa are out there and I'm going to be with them middle of uh, November. This is so wonderful for her. Her niece is such a good person for helping her do this. And of course, that's on the first time voter. That's on the voter video. Um, Rose on Utah, 11 year old moves a city. And that is the positive video I did the other day on an 11 year old girl that designed a, um, a little playground for younger kids, uh, kids that are, um, the age of, I think, two to f two to five, um, the age of her little sisters, and uh, the the city did it. They followed her drawings and had her in the meetings and did colors according to what she she made a big difference. So yeah, Rose says that's awesome, and I agree, Rose. It is awesome. On Quartzsite for Beginners, Poodle Professor says good info. And 2021 Winnebago Micro Mini, um, it's how I tricked out my, what you're seeing here. And Robert Meyer says, where did you get your monitoring system? Um, the monitoring system is called Blink. Um, it's uh, on Amazon. You look it up. There are lots of different packages. And the thermostat is, um, it is called um, Easy Touch. Um, might by Micro Air, and it's quite expensive, um, but that's available on Amazon as well. So um, Blink is fairly well. It, if you bought the uh, the Blink system with maybe three or four cameras, it would rival the price of the. Well, let, why guess? Why not just go in and look at what I paid for these things? Let's see. Um, micro air. I'm going to type that in and hopefully it'll come up in my orders. Um, uh, micro air thermostat. Um, it's not in my, um, uh, Amazon cause I bought it directly from the manufacturer, but you can, um, Ooh, I think it's come down. The Micro Air Thermostat 277.50. So, um, and here's one 259. So, you know, a little less than $300. The Blink system, though, let, let me um, Blink. Um, so, one like outdoor cameras. $90. There's, um, you can get a video doorbell and three cameras for $319. Um, just the doorbell, $60. Bucks. Um, there's, there's all sorts of, um, packages, but if you got that package with the doorbell and three security cameras, in the sync module for that's $320. So it's actually more than the thermostat. 
but there's no monthly charge or anything. You just need constant Wi-Fi if you want to monitor this away from your RV. Um, and let's, that looks like the last one. It was six hours ago. Someone was up late or up, up late last night. Let's refresh. Um, and <laughs> Ken, Ken's on it. Ken already made a, a, a comment on my uh, positive news video that I just posted. I call it Robot Camp Host with question marks. And what this is about is about a one of those robots that kind of looks like a dog. In Italy, they have one of those where they attach vacuum hoses to all four and they, and they use AI in cameras to send this robot out on the beach and it targets little micro trash, in particular cigarette butts, and cleans up the beach. And it's the, the, it's not really about camp hosting, but I, I was kind of almost chuckling telling the story because I remember when I was a camp host um, having one of those big long sticks with the claw at the end and the trigger on the top and picking up things like cigarette butts, butts and micro trash when someone would leave their campsite and how, what a pain in the neck that was. And I'm like, boy, I wish I had one of those robots to do that. And then I thought, well, if they had one of those robots, they might not need me. So it might, the robot might take over the job as camp host. So that's where the title came from. So that's it for today. Another 30 minute one. And if you stayed this long, bless you. Thank you. I'm great. I'm so grateful that I still can't believe so many of you watch my videos. Just watch me talk and um, it's, it's so one, it's such a wonderful thing. And especially, you know, when, um, I'm not around a lot of clothes, I'm not around a lot of friends. I am right now, but there are times where it's a little lonely on the road, but it's not lonely when you guys are around, when I'm, I'm able to see your comments, you might notice people probably go, wow, he responds fast. Is it automated or something? Because when I see on my phone that a comment has come through, I either, I hit like and love, and that's how you purge the comment from um, the, the, I had the, you haven't responded list. And so I read every one of them. So if you get Rob, you know, travels with Dottie, loved your comment or something. That means I read it. And a lot of people are probably shocked that it's so quick after they post. But I just like it. It's like having, it, it, it feels almost like real-time communication. Anyway, I will see you and Dottie and I will, and George and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.